good. We're here to help. You think Daimon's star yards would hire me? <laughs> what am I saying? Of course they would. I'm the best. Jake's is a good place to meet later. How are things going? No lawyering, okay? I don't have the patience for it. Can't say I'll have what you need. But you're welcome to look. That's so. Think folks down here are too poor to afford electronics. Not the first time I heard that line. Yeah, I get that kind of attitude far too often. You find yourself with any more commentary, feel free to keep it to yourself. Well, then maybe we should just stick to business, huh? A reporter. Fine, but I'm only talking basics. I don't like people snooping around my business. Great! Now why don't you help me out and buy something? I scratch your back, you scratch mine. Stock's a, a bit low, so you might happy to make a deal if I can. Stay safe out there. Always nice to see a first face around. Everyone's welcome, so long as you keep your hands to yourself. Understand? No causing trouble in here. Mom, that's Kay, gets all the credit. Started making sure people felt welcome back when I was just a kid. She had one rule. No cause in trouble. Everyone abided by it. Put their differences aside when they came through the door. After a few years of feeding so many mouths, we needed extra credits to stay afloat. Didn't mean for this to turn into a business, but here we are. If folks are willing to pay a little to have some place to feel safe and get a decent meal, well then, we'll sure take it. Absolutely. I'm sure my mom would be proud to have the place featured in an article. What's up? Yeah, sure thing. I'm Teresa Mason, and this is my home. My mom's the K who founded K's house. I grew up here along with the business. My mom passed the place on to me when she decided to retire. Running it is my pride and joy. I've put everything I have into it. Business is steady, as usual. We don't tolerate violence or disrespect. So a lot of folks like to spend time here. The only thing that's worrying me is a new group of customers I've seen hanging around lately. They've been watching the UC surplus store pretty closely. I have a bad feeling they might be planning something. Kay's house has a reputation as a safe place. I don't want to be associated with that kind of thing. Honestly, I'd really appreciate that. I'd feel terrible if something happened and I hadn't done anything to try to stop it. Why don't you come by when you have some spare time? And we'll talk it out. <sighs> Same as ever. I've lived in the well my whole life, and things have never really changed. The UC government promises to clean the place up every couple years, but there's still just as much crime and poverty as there was when I was a kid. That's 
That's why Kay's house is so important. It's the one place people in the well feel safe. Be sure to put that in the article, okay? I'm really proud of it. Great. Let me know when the article comes out, will you? I'd like to read it. shortage of hungry mouths. You know why this here. place has stood for so long? Keep us on our toes. I make sure everyone's Else. comfy. I tell it like it is, and I don't take any shit. Best we can here. That's all we can ever do. A journalist? That's a surprise. Most people don't think anything that goes on in the well is worth writing about. I'd be happy to help if I can. Sure, if you'd like. My name's Talia. I was born and raised right here in the well. I've been the nurse here at the Med Bay for over a decade now. Once upon a time, I was a combat medic for the UC Navy. When the colony war ended, I came back to the well to put my skills to use for the people here. Things are always the same in the well. Violent and dangerous. I swear I treat more injuries here than I did when I was a Navy medic. Things are always rough at the Med Bay. I'm the closest thing to a doctor that the well has, and I can't treat everyone. The last few weeks have been especially bad. There's some kind of infection going around, and a lot of kids down here are catching it. It just breaks my heart to see. Oh, you're sweet to offer. There might be something you can do, if you're willing. Let's chat again when you have some time to spare, all right? Right, dear. You let me know if there's anything else I can do for you. Three gunshots this week alone. I guess we know where UC Security's priorities are. And aren't. You remembered. I'm touched, dear, really. Yes, there's absolutely something you can do to help. All the children seem to have the same stomach bug, but I'm having trouble diagnosing it. Pediatrics isn't my specialty. But one of my colleagues, Dr. Lebedev, is an expert. If I had his research notes, I'm sure I could diagnose the disease and find a treatment. I've seen an uptick in cases of sick children in the med bay recently. They all seem to be presenting the same symptoms, but I can't identify the cause. It isn't serious enough to kill them, but I haven't found an effective treatment yet. That has me worried. He works topside at Reliant Medical. It's easy to find. It's right between Mast and Orion Tower. Dr. Lebedev is always there. Oh, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I'd go myself, but I can't leave the med bay unattended.
star yards across the settled district. And the final scores were surprisingly tight, with Tayo Astroneering earning a single word more than rival Stroud Eckler. One judge said, We have an appointment. We're seeing the doctor. That's it. The majority of citizens here in New Atlantis count on Reliant Medical. I believe our reputation speaks for itself. Should you find yourself in need, medical supplies are available for purchase at, if I may say, very competitive prices. Welcome to Reliant. If you're in need of medical assistance or require supplies, I am sure we can accommodate you. Well, everyone knows Reliant, largest medical provider in the settled systems. They've spent decades advancing medical science with their research division, and have built an entire supply network to keep us all healthy. They've always been quite proud to work here. Well, of course, New Atlantis is a big place. Lots of people, which means no shortage of injuries, communicable diseases, but we're well staffed and do our best to accommodate anyone who needs help. Take all the time you need. A medical problem Talia can't solve. I never thought I'd see the day. How can I help? We've been professional acquaintances for a long time. She's an excellent nurse. If the well didn't need her so badly, I'd have offered her a job here ages ago. Sick children? Well, we can't have that. I'd be happy to help. Let's see. A stomach bug. I've treated plenty of those. I keep extensive notes. I'm sure I have something that can help. Ah, yes, here we go. This should do the trick. Uh, I've uploaded some of my notes on common stomach issues in pediatric patients to this slave. Please, pass it on to Talia. 
she can keep it. And give her my best, will you? I hope everything works out for those kids. Welcome to Reliant. Well, you've certainly come to the right place. Remain in good health. Limited resources, but I try not to turn anyone away just because they're light on credits. Really? Let's see. Ah, oh, this is perfect. I knew Dr. Lebedev would have what I needed. I'll have this solved in no time with these notes for reference. Thank you so much, dear. Really. I couldn't have done this without you. Sure you say hello to mama don't take it personal if i don't stop to chat lots to do not nearly enough hands to do it all would you I i'd really appreciate it i saw them hanging around the uc surplus earlier today they sure looked suspicious to me They've been coming here regularly for the last couple weeks, and all they do is sit on the balcony and watch the UC surplus. I thought I heard them mention a robbery, but I'm not sure. They seem to know I'm onto them, so they stop talking about it when I'm around. That's not how I want this handled. Kay's place is the only safe haven in the well. I can't condone violence. If anyone's going to handle them, it should be security but I have to be sure they're up to something before I get the authorities involved. I don't want to get anyone on security's bad side for no reason. Why don't you do a little sleuthing for me? Maybe you'll have better luck eavesdropping on them than I did. We can decide what to do once we figure out if they're really up to something. Stay as long as you like, and don't be a stranger. Find 
my stuff is legit. Personally, I think daylight's overrated. I get by just fine. Look around, you tell me. You see is a big organization. A lot of planets, a lot of people, a whole lot to keep track of. Sometimes they don't do such a good job of that. Sometimes stuff falls through the cracks, winds up collecting dust in some warehouse. But that's all right, because I, and by extension you, get to benefit. I make great deals on stuff in bulk, you get some low prices. Everyone wins. Absolutely. Watch your back up. That's me, the real bigger time. I got all. Need something else? I'll be here. you to think, Louis. You see, you see security around here? No, but... But nothing. I say we strike while the iron's hot. You got a feeling that goody two-shoes at Kay's place is gonna rat us out. She was giving us some serious side-eye last time we were in there. See? No time like the present. Do it tonight. It'll be fine, trust me. We'll be in and out in time to make last call at Jake's. If we can make this happen, we'll be real big shots around here. I sure hope we can make it happen. You gotta trust me. You'll be fine. <laughs> I guess I, I need to work on my self-confidence. If we pull this off, we'll be swimming in credits. I've never seen anybody else try something like this. I've just about had enough of you doubting me, Louis. I have a real bad feeling about this. Frick's info is good, so be a piece of cake. That's a pretty big if. Hey, I thought you were on my side here. If you say so, Isaac. If we can make this happen, we'll be real big shots around here. I've never 
seen anybody else try something like this. Hey, I thought you were on my side here. Get out of my face. If we Scram, pull this pal. off, we'll be swimming in credits. I sure hope we can make it happen. Hey, I thought you were on my side here. If you say so, Isaac. If we pull this off, we'll be swimming in credits. Cole spacesuit. Everyone's welcome, so long as you keep your hands to yourself. Understand? Damn. I was hoping I had it wrong. <sighs> I guess that settles it. We have to get the authorities involved before they can go through with the robbery. You should take this straight to Officer Endler at the security office. He'll look into it. If he gives you a hard time, tell him I sent you to make the report. That'll get him on your side. Head out the door and turn left. It's all the way at the end of the street. You can't miss it. Sort of. He's a regular customer, and I've reported crimes to him before. He's more fair-minded than most of the Wells security officers. Thanks. Let me know when you've made the report, okay? Something I can help you with. Never a dull day for security in the well. <sighs> well, that's what we're here for. What's going on? The UC surplus. You sure about that? It's been a long time since someone was stupid enough to rob that place. It's a military outfit for one thing. Most criminals don't want to make an enemy of the UC. The guy who runs is pretty intense, too. He wouldn't think twice about shooting a would-be thief. Hmm. It's hard to argue with first-hand info. I guess I'll take your word for it. I'll head over there now to check it out. Those thieves won't be so cocky with security on patrol. quick. How'd things go with Officer Endler? Don't take it personally. Endler's not usually one to trust strangers. That's why I told you to use my name if he gave you any trouble. I'm glad you were able to talk him into it. Thanks for your help with this. I feel a lot better knowing security's on patrol down there. Folks gotta look out for one another. That's why we started serving. All those years ago.
run into spacers. back here to report anything else if you have a new story for me I'm very happy to pay your fee hey that's great thanks so much did everything go all right glad to hear it I'm looking forward to reading through your notes I can't thank you enough for helping me out I'll send you a copy of the story if it gets published. <laughs> There's nothing like seeing your name in print. I have a feeling we'll see each other again. Bobby so much. around you may be breathing. Oh, I was hoping we might run into one another again. Your timing is most fortuitous. I'm on the verge of something, but I don't quite have all the information I need. You have no idea how much I appreciate that, truly. Of course, now that I understand more about what's going on, it seems plain as day. And yet I never would have imagined it before. The tertiary trunks have also liquefied their interiors, but they're not vibrating. I thought perhaps it was some sort of defect, but it's much simpler. They're listening. it means it is ready to reproduce. I believe this tree is sending vibrations out over massive distances and expecting to detect sympathetic vibrations in return. As of yet, there's been no response. I suspect that will not change, that a response is impossible, and that's very, very bad news.
We're continuing to see an increase in the strength and frequency of the vibrations. I don't know how much more significant it'll become. If there's no response, the tree may vibrate itself and some nearby portion of the city to destruction. Now, as of yet, there has been no response, and clearly none of the nearby individuals are a correct match. While it can't be ruled out that the intended recipient of these messages was cut down during the city's expansion, there is one other possibility. Over a hundred years ago, the United Colonies and the Free Star Collective emerged from the Narian War. As a gesture of peace and goodwill, a near-literal olive branch, one of the trees from New Atlantis, was offered to the leaders of Aquila City. Certainly wouldn't have been my first suggestion. Something about the common roots of humanity or some such. Politicians and their metaphors. Of course you can't just uproot a native species and plunk it down on some other planet in a totally different environment and expect it to grow. Clearly no exobotanists were consulted ahead of time. The end result was wholly predictable. The tree died within a few short years. I'm sorry, I'll get to the point. The tree died, yes, but branches were kept. At least one still exists in the museum there in the city. If I had that branch, I could get DNA samples and then using various data I've gathered, I could attempt to simulate a response. We could then broadcast that response and hopefully calm down our friend here. But as I say, I need that branch. I knew you would understand. The museum in Aquila City is under the supervision of one Miss Kassler, I'm told. I don't know anything about her, but hopefully she'll be willing to listen to reason and assist our cause. All right, off you go. We don't have any time to waste. 